All right, today I want to teach on wild man attacks. Ron and I have lots of drills against wild man attacks and we practice against wild man attacks all the time. One of the key features of wild man attacks is not to stop swinging from all kinds of odd angles. People come at you and they swing and they swing and they punch and things come from all kinds of odd angles. If you, like me, have been boxing since you're in sixth grade, you're used to jabs and crosses, hooks, and those are all conventional attacks that are kind of neat and precise, but wild man attacks are all broken, rhythm, weird timing, very eclectic in their trajectories, so it's good to know how to stop those attacks. And one of the ways it works really good is the John Wayne straight arm. Someone makes a big swing, you extend your arm, and you can stop it dead. Now, there's a key to doing that though. When you put your straight arm in, you wanna put it as close to his wrist as you can. Between, and, and I wanna show this carefully to the camera to see. Between his elbow and his wrist, but close to his wrist. When you get here, it can wrap around and still hit you. If I'm poorly placed, it can wrap around, keep going, smash me into the jaw anyway. But when I get close, so feel the same punch again on that side. When I get here, I dead stop him. Now the danger when you do this too often though, is he faints this, if he's smart, he faints that, goes inside or faints high and hits me low. So I go like that and he drops low. But if you wanna stop a big swing dead, bang, bang. You can straight arm it here, you stop him dead here, and then you can chop really easy, let's spin. See how I stopped that dead right there? I can immediately chop him in the neck. I can grab the back of his neck. There's my headbutt. There's my knee. I got so many things going on here because I stopped this attack dead. Now, when you stop this dead, his natural action is going to throw that next punch. You better be ready to cover. Or step, make that miss. Or step in and move with your own counter immediately to stop that next attack. The other thing to remember is when you do this, the next punch may go low, so you better be ready for that. And sometimes you come right over here, with, he throws the next punch, you just rotate over here and pick that up, he throws it again, you pick that up again, now, bang, you get in your short shot right on his chin, knock him out. That's how you use the John Wayne straight arm to stop a swing. I want to teach you another way to stop a swing using a tight cover. There's a few nuances though I want you to be aware of. I'll ask Ron to come in. This works either uh, with your forward hand or your rear hand. When he swings, I'm gonna cover. And as I cover, I wanna move in. I don't wanna stand passively and just stay here. I wanna move into it if I can. And what I wanna do is I wanna drop my chin as far down to my chest as I can, down here, okay? I wanna raise his shoulder and hide behind it. Hang on, Ron. So I wanna show all the movements. Drop this. Raise that, take this hand, put it behind my head if I can, all the way around here, cover my temple. It's important now that this arm covers this gap in my bicep and closes that out. And my elbow comes over to my nose, past my nose like this. Pushes in, right? So even if it smashes in to me and I feel that rock on my arm, it doesn't really hurt me. I feel some shock, but it doesn't really hurt me. I'm inside now. Now, I'm in a position to grab him. I'm in a position to chop him. I'm in a position to knock on, his, on the back of his head really hard here. I'm in a position to really lay him out. Or, from here, I can wrap that arm really easily. Now, I can take it for Mr. Toad's Wild Ride really easily right from here. So, this is also good for, now he throws rear hand, I can rotate right over here and pick that up. So I'm here, here, I can pick that up, come back, or here, here. I cover with the other one. So here, here, and I just get used to that very quickly. Close, the key again is make it this closest out. So when you get here, close that out, and don't give a gap for him to come through. And if he, if he hits your arm, he hits your forearm, just remember, it's only gonna hurt for a couple seconds. 
30 seconds later, you won't remember it. Win the fight.